Aperture stop, exit pupil, entrance pupil. We want to talk about those parameters. So what is aperture stop or stop of the optical system? The stop of the optical system can be a hole or opening that, you know, anything can limit the light's propagation through your optical system. So usually in optical systems, when you are doing in the lab or, you know, you have any uh, other optical system, we have some part that we call it uh, iris diaphragm, like this one, that is a variable aperture stop. So the diameter of this part is a kind of uh, something that you can change it. And then we call it, this is the stop of the system. So that's something that limits your uh, optic, uh, your beams into your optical system. In some other systems, like a lens that you can see, the physical uh, ring around the lens is your, uh, when you know it's in front of the lens, that's the limitation of your optical system. You have a big lens and you know from that ring makes your optical system separated from uh, the other parts of the universe. So that's kind of, that's the kind of uh, limitation for your optical system. Or for some other optical devices like a telescope, there is no actually uh, physical stop for the system other than your eyes. So our eyes also has some part that we're going to talk about it. Stop of our eye, which we call it pupil. Uh, that one acts like a limitation of, uh, you know, light that can go through the whole optical system and your eyes included. So that one, we call it aperture stop. Something physically that can actually uh, limit your optical system. Now we have another concept that we call it exit pupil. So let's say we have an object plane always for all optical, all imaging system. We have object plane and we have image plane. And you have a, a physical stop that can be here in front of the lens. It can be in the middle. It can, it can be anywhere. It can be middle between some lenses. It can be mechanical. It can be any shape. So the exit pupil, the exit pupil of your optical system is the image of that stop into your imaging plane. So you know, right now we have this stop. So the image of this uh, stop into your, uh, actually into your right-hand side, which is the image side of your optical system is your exit pupil. So you can see this is very close to this lens and this lens is a concave lens. So we don't have any uh, actual real image. So that's a virtual image. So the position of that virtual image if you continue the lines, then that's your exit pupil. You know, exit pupil is not outside of your system. It's something inside of your optical system. So anything, any optical system you have, sometimes it can be outside, sometimes it can be here even. When you image your stop into your image side, anything that you have to your image side, any optics that you have, you use that one and you image it. Then that's the actually exit pupil of your system. Now we have another concept that we call it entrance pupil. So for entrance pupil, here is the, is the object plane and we have a lens and this is the aperture stop of, your, of our optical system. Again, the same scenario, your, you image your aperture stop, which is the limitation of your system, the limitation of uh, marginal ray heights that can pass through your optical system through all optical elements into which is uh, on the object side opposite than you know the other one that uh, that was exit pupil so we have aperture stop is very close to this lens we image it the image of the aperture stop into your object plane is somewhere here but it's not a real image so you know the entrance pupil is something somewhere you know even past the image plane it doesn't matter so that's the entrance pupil of our optical system so the optical system plays a very important role even in eye then uh, and next video we're going to talk about what is the actually entrance pupil or exit pupil or the stop of our optical system so here are some references that i use thank you very much